Hi, my name is Amanda Taylor. I am a veterinary neurologist here at Southeast Veterinary Neurology. I'm here to talk to you today about lumbosacral disease in dogs. Lumbosacral disease is a degenerative disease affecting mainly large breed dogs, often ones who are working dogs, where as they age, they degenerate the cartilage in their lower spine between their lower vertebrae or lumbar vertebrae and their sacrum, which is the vertebrae that lays over the pelvis. In addition to degenerating this disc, they form scar tissue in the area, narrowing the part of the spine where the nerves that come off of the spinal cord reside, called the cauda equina. This condition is worsened by exercise and high impact activity because this area is so important in movement. Signs of lumbosacral disease can be subtle at first with mild lameness or limping in a back leg, decreased willingness to jump, or in working dogs, changes in performance noted by the handler. As this disease progresses, dogs can develop weakness in their back legs, difficulty knowing where their legs are in space to the point where they have a hard time walking or supporting themselves, and eventually urinary and fecal incontinence and decreased tail movement. So as a degenerative disease, part of the problem with lumbosacral disease is the way the body responds to movement at this lower joint in the spine. The lumbosacral joint normally has movement every time you stretch, every time you lay down, every time you jump. And in some dogs, this movement is responded to by the body laying down scar tissue and thickening ligaments in the area. Additionally, this movement is affected by degeneration of the disc in the area, which results in a gradual bulging and pressure on nerves in the area. Some dog breeds are predisposed to abnormally formed vertebrae in this area, such as German Shepherds at a young age, which can contribute to the development of lumbosacral disease earlier in their lives and an earlier onset of clinical signs. Diagnosis of lumbosacral disease is based on a combination of a history consistent with signs of lumbosacral disease, changes on a neurologic exam, such as weakness in the back legs and decreased reflexes and perception of the back legs, as well as pain in the lower back. Ultimately, to make a definitive diagnosis, we would recommend pursuing an MRI of the lower spine to look at the nerves as they come off of the spinal cord and evaluate the lumbosacral region. Treatment is twofold for lumbosacral disease. In many dogs, a conservative approach can be successful through rest, physical rehabilitation, pain medications, anti-inflammatories, and alternative therapies such as acupuncture. In some cases, this is not an effective treatment course, in which case a steroid epidural may be performed at the area of disease, or eventually a surgical decompression and stabilization performed. In working dogs where there is a desire for the patient to return to work, conservative approaches are often unsuccessful long-term and surgical management is recommended. Prognosis for lumbosacral disease is related to two factors, the status of the patient at the time they present and the goals of the patient's outcome. So if this patient is mildly affected, they have a good chance of doing well with conservative management. If this patient is more significantly affected and having difficulty walking, the prognosis is more guarded as not all patients will respond to medication alone and they may require surgery. The prognosis is a little trickier for working dogs because these are the pro athletes of the dog world. And as we all know, some pro athletes come back just fine after a surgery and others are unable to return to performance. If your dog is exhibiting signs of lumbosacral disease, such as those referred to in this video, we recommend prompt referral to an expert in dealing with this condition, such as a veterinary neurologist at Southeast Veterinary Neurology. Mm -hmm.